Welcome back to AIM Newsweek, your go-to source for everything insurance. I'm Agent Ivory, bringing you the hottest celebrity insurance news. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Also, join us live each Friday at noon CST for our Coverage Over Coffee podcast. Music Times asked the question, were P&B Rock and other rappers' death planned? Fans are still talking about rapper P&B Rock being gunned down while having a meal with his girlfriend Stephanie at Roscoe's Chicken and Waffles. An investigation has been opened by the Los Angeles Police Department, but fans speculate this may have been an inside job. On Twitter and TikTok, many are alleging that Empire Distribution Music Label planned P&B Rock and other rappers' death to get their insurance policies. Some of the artists under the label who died in the past years include Mo3, Drakeo the Ruler, King Von, Young Dolph, and XXX Tenacion. Some Twitter fans are stating that hip-hop labels are taking out insurance policies on their artists. So in the event of their death, the record label receives a payout as the beneficiary. One example of this includes the issue between rapper Bushwick Bill and his label over a life insurance policy in 1998. He alleged the label demanded all artists on the roster allow the record company to take out life insurance policies on them. This form of insurance is called key man insurance, also known as key person or key employee insurance. This is a life insurance policy that a business takes out on its most valuable employee or employees. Under a key person life insurance policy, the business owns the policy, pays the premiums, and is the beneficiary. If a key person dies, the business then collects the death benefit. That money can be used to help a business replace lost revenue as they search for a replacement. So would a music artist fit the definition of a key person? For a key person insurance, a business focuses on the employees it considers indispensable. A key person is often the business owner, but could be a someone who has a highly specialized role or is responsible for bringing in a large share of sales. Such employees can be extremely difficult and expensive to replace, and their loss would resonate throughout the entire business. So as you can see, it is legal for a business to obtain key person insurance. We know, however, it is not legal for a business to intentionally murder their key person to collect the death benefit. Do you believe record labels are preying on their music artists? Let us know in the comment section below.